Hey guys, what's going on? It's Stokonic here, and today we're going to be doing a quick, quick v overview of the most optimal teams at this point in global for the Boss Russia event, and it is currently June 27th at 12.05 a.m. So all the units as of this time, we will be going over the best and most optimal teams for Boss Rush. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. Alright, that being said, I want to give a shout out to Prisma Zur. Um, he made the most optimal teams um, in a Reddit post over here, so that's what I'm going to be using. We're going to be basing everything, uh, all the optimal teams off of this post, and I will be doing a separate video going over all of the cards that I have put into uh, at least the Google Doc. If you guys saw it a little bit earlier, I had posted a, like a two-minute video going over the Google Doc of all uh, units that I believe can be good for replacement if you don't have the most optimal team. But this video, we're going to be going over the most optimal units for a heroes team, a villains team, and then all mono teams. Uh, at this point in the game for Dokkan Battle Global. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, first of all, all these should be viable, and well, obviously the most optimal units for all four stages of the current, or what should be released in the next couple hours, boss rush stages one through four. So let's go ahead and jump into the team building for the villains team. So the villains team is number one, and that is mostly because of Buhan, Buhan, well, and Janemba. Um, it's really a team effort, obviously, but Buhan and Janemba are the two main players here. Buhan is just an amazing unit. He heals like an SOB, he debuffs like crazy, and he hits super hard with a chance to hit even harder if he gets his Kamehameha attack off. So let's go over the team real quick. This is a 10 out of 10. If you have this team, you should run it to at least beat stage four the one time, because I don't think many of us are actually gonna run stage four all the time. We're probably gonna be running the other stages for fun for you know racing and things like that. Anyway, the team consists of Merge the Masa Leader, Super Saiyan Rose, Buhan, Omega Shenron, Golden Frieza, Goku Black, and Super Saiyan Rose Friend. Um, or another merged Masu on the global side because if you have Goku Black and the Super Saiyan Rose, that means as long as you keep them opposite of each other, you should have another key plus three, which gives you four key plus their links in order to do some decent damage. Um, nothing guaranteed, you might just want to run a merged Masu and a Rose together so that way you know you're going to be getting the super attacks off. Anyway, other options to add to this team would be a Janemba, the physical 70% leader Broly. The 90% LR Broly if you have him, the full power Frieza, or the Turles. Now, there are a couple things you could do here. Uh, personally, I like having the Janemba on, so I would probably myself. Uh, Goku Black does have the key, but you're already getting the key mixture, so I would probably replace Goku Black with the LR Broly, just because that LR Broly is going to get crazy, with, uh, especially if you have a crit or, or so on him, um, or more, if you have a higher crit than just what is inherently given to him if you put the free dupe system path into him. Um, he'll be hitting pretty damn hard. You keep him with the Super Saiyan Rose. Uh, as Link Buddies, you get the key plus three from Super Saiyan Rose passive, and then you get the prepared for battle and the Super Saiyan. Um, he'll be doing pretty damn decent damage. LR Broly will at least be able to get his 12 key off all the time, and you'll have a higher chance to have his Ultra Super Attack going off. Um, the Full Power Frieza is a very underrated card, in my opinion. A lot of people will say, why do you want him? I mean, he does immense damage, and he has 120% um, attack multiplier uh, to his passive skill. So, I mean, an immense damage multiplier with 120% raised, I mean, he's freaking pretty damn good unit. He hits like a hard truck, holy crap. Um, the Turles that we had mentioned before, uh, I like the unit specifically because he has a 50% chance to stun, and he gives key to all your allies, so he's definitely an optimal unit for supporting and for stunning. Uh, definitely consider him if you do not have, uh, well, let's say if you don't have any units like Omega Shenron, which will debuff while he's on the field, or anyone who lowers the attack. I mean, obviously for th this case, you're only going to have Buhan who um, debuffs the enemy's attack. But, you know, if you don't have someone who is going to tank, um, or if you don't have a Buhan, which you really I mean, kind of need Buhan for the Stage 4 event, um, you're going to want to make sure you could at least stun the enemy or seal him. But again, that's going to be for a separate video, because, or later on in the video, because this is just going to be a little bit too long as it is. Um, we're going to go on to the Mono Super Team now. Mono Super Team, we're going to talk about the Vegeta Blue Leader, Gogeta, especially if you have, oh man, I have my 100% dupe path unlocked, man, he hits like so hard. Uh, but Vegito Blue, Gogeta, Super Vegito is definitely someone you need on this team. Without a Super Vegito, 
I don't know that I think this event is be a lot harder just because he takes almost no damage. Um, from this post, it says Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I'm going to argue that and say you should use the Super Saiyan physical Gotenks myself. Uh, the reason I recommend that is because you want to make sure that Super Vegito is getting off those counters and Vegito, the Vegito Blues that you're going to be losing, using, uh, are going to be getting off their counters as well. So you want to make sure they're sealed. My recommendation would be to have Super Saiyan Gotenks and a Vegito Blue on one side, and then on the other side, uh, Super Vegito and a Vegito Blue. That way you get the Super Saiyan Gotenks to seal the super attack, and then um, assuming he gets a super attack before the, the opponent attacks, your, hopefully your Vegito Blue friend or your Vegito, whoever's on that side, will take the attack and counter. And then the next round, the opponent will be sealed, and then your Vegito Blue and your Super Vegito will be countering the entire time. That's just my opinion. I don't think you're going to need that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks there. Um, the rest of them, I agree with Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Definitely, he is the one that um, the tanks hits for 7 turns. 80% damage reduction. Super, super useful, super needed. And the free-to-play Whis. The free-to-play Whis. Uh, get him Super Attack 10 because he's free-to-play. Obviously, he's available from the Hero Extermination event or Hero Extermination plan. Or however you didn't pronounce the event. Anyway, super useful because he recovers 100% of your health on HP, I believe, is 30% or below. Uh, you're definitely going to want him on the team. Other options to run on the team for hard hitters, I would say from the list that I just gave you, that you're seeing here on the screen, mine is taking the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks out, swapping them out. But the only one I would replace would be the Gogeta, and I don't recommend replacing him, only if you don't have him, would be any of these other cards that are here, such as the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, um, the Intelligence One, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, uh, the Tech Vegito, the Tech Beerus. The Tech Beerus can also... <sighs> If you don't have the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, then Tech Beerus would definitely be a good um, unit, specifically because he has the Fury Mode when he gets super angry when your HP is 30% or below. He also links really well with Whis, so they have the, con I believe it's Connoisseur Link, so that way they're doing the HP regeneration, and when he goes into that Fury Mode, that Rage Mode, you're not taking any damage for the time that he's in that Rage Mode, so you might want to consider doing that instead of the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta if you don't have him. Uh, and then the Super Saiyan Intelligence Trunks, who... See, the other thing about this is I would kind of recommend, instead of doing Vegito Blue Friend, maybe the Super Saiyan Trunks. The thing is, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, or Vegito Blue, he counters, so you want to have that counter. But the Super Saiyan Trunks has that good uh, stat buff in his leader skill. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very hard mixture to say. I would say the, the exact team that you see here would be your ideal one, uh, minus the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and add the physical Gotenks for the ceiling. That's that. Now, in terms of mono teams, you know, I was thinking about this for a while today. There are three teams that I thought of that would be decent, and you know, it turns out that this post ex had exactly what I was thinking, um, for the most part, of who you should run. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the Super Agility Team or the Agility Team. Uh, I didn't think of a Ma of a LR Majin Vegeta. I completely slipped my mind, but this is essentially the team I wanted for Super AGL. You have the Super Vegeta Leader, um, Super Saiyan Rose. Uh, you have the Super Saiyan Blue Goku because he has that passive skill with the percentage increase. Uh, plus the Kaioken kills your health. You don't want that on a stage 4 of the boss rush because he will slowly deplete your health. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Ultimate Gohan personally because he, stunned, he has a chance to stun the enemy. Now hear me out here. He stuns the enemy, that's good. You want that, right? No, not, not really. You don't want him to stun the enemy because you have that Super Vegito Blue or the Super Vegito Leader. And if you're running a double Super Vegito lead, they counter. And if the enemy's stunned, you're losing out on that damage. Now, yeah, I guess you could say, you know, well, if there's no guarantee you could super attack this and that. Stunning's better than getting super attacked. Well, that's, that's very true. But, you know, there, there are options. You could throw a sealer on the team. You have the Oceanus. I mean, Oceanus on the team, yeah, while he's not doing damage, he'll seal. That will make sure that both Super Vegitos, assuming he lands in the right order, that the Super Vegitos will definitely counter, and it'll make the events go a lot quicker. Um, that's just my recommendation. I'm not a big fan of that Ultimate Gohan, but there are other people who you could use. Um, that's We're going on that in a second. Obviously, you still want that Agility Whis for the healing, and then the Super Vegito lead. Now, personally, I would replace the Ultimate Gohan with either an Oceanus for the ceiling um, or the Golden Frieza, just because the Golden Frieza has that passive skill. He doesn't hit hard, but he has the passive where he reduces damage when HP is 50% or above, so you'll be tanking some good hits with that. Um, Beerus is good to link with Whis. Um, I, it's very easy to get him. Um, up to Super Attack 10, assuming you're more, more pay to play because you get all those SRs and the SR Beeruses are a lot more common if you're doing a lot of pulls, especially if you're an old school gamer, you've been playing for a while, you know you keep on getting those guys, you could get him up to Super Attack 10 without a problem. 
Uh, the other Super Saiyan God Goku, he's really good for linking. So that, so yeah, my pick would say I would say get rid of that Ultimate Gohan and use Golden Freezer, Super Saiyan God Goku, or Beerus. One of those three would probably be ideal, in my opinion. Again, this is all opinion based. Who you think? Any of these teams are going to run the event without a problem. You should be able to receive. Obviously, it's also going to be based off of your luck, whether how many super attacks, when the super attacks go off, and everything. But these teams are optimal, so using any of these units should be fine for you. I'm not trying to knock the teams. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about the LR Majin Vegeta leader. Um, this is another mono AGL. So you have the LR Majin Vegeta lead, you have Super Vegito, obviously, and the Super Saiyan Rose, obviously. Then you have, in, in terms of this list, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, the Super Saiyan God Goku, and the Whis. So the Whis you're going to keep there, definitely. The Rose I agree with, the Super Vegito I agree with, LR Majin Vegeta, yes. Super Saiyan God Goku, uh, yeah, I would say that because he would link better with the Majin Vegeta. Now, I get it, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku will probably link a lot better with Majin Vegeta. But I would probably say, at least in terms of damage output, you might still want to go with the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. But it depends on the link skills and how you want to have that, that rotation set up. Uh, if you have the rotation set up where you have that Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku linked up with the Majin Vegeta, you're probably going to want to go with it because they shared that over in a flash link. Um, but, you know, this team is definitely a lot more viable out of all the other teams that are, that are here um, in terms of mono, in my opinion. Uh, I prefer that one over actually the Super Agility. Super Agility and the Mono Agility are obviously both um, rated at 9 out of 9, but I think that the LR Majin Vegeta would probably do better just because of the better stat buff. Anyway, let's go over to the Mono STR. Now, this is with an LR Broly lead. I completely agree with this. You have LR Broly, you have Super Saiyan Broly, assuming you were able to pull two of them. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Omega Shenron, Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, Gogeta, and an LR Broly friend. Um, you have other options. Uh, it says Broly over here, but you can't really, you can't mix the Broly's. So maybe, oh, it probably means the uh, the strength uh, beta male Broly. Um, yeah, that's exactly what that means. Super Saiyan God Goku is good for linking. Um, Super Saiyan God uh, Gotenks, which is, I guess that's a decent card to have on there. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Doken Awakened. Uh, he's doing immense damage, so he'd be pretty good. And the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So yeah, I can agree with, I can get on board with all of those. I really like those. It's a really good team. You're going to be tanking with the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. The Omega Shenron will help reduce damage. The Super Saiyan 2 Trunks will increase his damage. Gogeta, if you have Gogeta set up on uh, the dupe system, the bottom left panther, just 100% in general, he tanks hits. You know, he, he's not an amazing tank when it comes to super attacks, but for regular attacks, I mean, on, even on Dokkan events, he's only hitting for a couple hundred, maybe a thousand on a regular hit. So that Gogeta, the, those stat buffs on him, really, really good. Make sure you focus on him. But yeah, LR Broly team, that is going to be your ideal team. And then the next one is going to be the Mono Intelligence. And this is kind of where it ends in terms of viability. Uh, Mono Intelligence, you have the Buhan leader, you have Janemba. Those two were linked very well together. Janemba, Janemba tanks everything. Buhan debuffs and heals, and he hits hard. Uh, then you have Turles, who is a really good, especially if he's Doken Awakened, super good support unit. The Intelligence Rage Trunks, which hits hard, and the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, because those two just link very well together. Um, you have the Intelligence Orale and a Buhan Friend. Uh, now, the, you do have the option for other units in here. The thing is, it's very difficult to say what you should and shouldn't be running. Um, personally, I might take that Arale out of there and throw in the Super Saiyan Bardock just because he seals. It would help with more viability. Yes, you do have Janemba for tanking, but he's the only real tanker until Buhan really debuffs the enemy. And remind you, remind you when, the, when the stages change, I believe the uh, debuffs go away because it's a different stage, different uh, opponent. I'm not 100% sure that I'm not sure if that was changed with an update, but let me know that in the comments below. I still would prefer to have that bar up because then he seals and it will be a lot more viable for you, um, other than the Arale. But that's just my opinion on the matter. Um, that's a good team. And the reason why, now, this is the reason why I say that this is really where I don't see a mono tech or mono physical team being that well, great, is because. You know, the, the Mono Strength team, you have your tankers, you have, they're all super hard hitters, and they all, for the most part, link decently freaking well. I mean, especially with that Gogeta, you're going to hit every single opponent really hard. The Mono Agility, you, like, half those guys, well, let's see, Super Vegito, huge tank, huge tank. Um, and the Whis constantly healing you throughout the game, or throughout each boss stage that you go through, so you're never going to have to worry about that. Um... It's just, you know, those cards are really set for attacking and debuffing and healing. 
you know, you're pretty much really solid on that. And then when you come to Mono Intelligence, it's just self-reliance. A heal. Buhan heals Buhan the, um, the buffs, and you're running a double Buhan lead, so you're nothing but doing nothing but healing and debuffing the entire time. Janemba tanks. Turles is making sure everyone gets off their super attack, especially that Buhan. And then you have Trunks and Vegeta, which both hit really freaking hard. When you come over to the Mono Tech now, um, we can go ahead and look at this. I mean, Super Saiyan 3, Go Tanks lead. Obviously, you want the God Tanks leader. Um, LR Goku is decent, and you want to ma match him up with the Super Saiyan Bardock. Now, the thing is that LR Goku is only going to do really well when you when you link him up with the Super Saiyan Bardock. So you're going to really want to keep those two on you know on the same rotation with with each other. Now the problem that this causes is your Super Saiyan 3 God Tanks, who is really a hard hitter. Is only gonna, you're gonna have him um, going on and off rounds all the time. And you really don't want that because he is harder hitting than the Super Saiyan Bardock. And the Super Saiyan Bardock is going to steal super attacks, it's gonna help you out there. But it's not ideal because you typically want your hardest hitters to always be on round. And that LR Goku is only gonna come into you know, play, come and be very viable when he's with that Super Saiyan Bardock. You also have the Vegito. Vegito's decent about giving some attack buffs to your, your, um, uh, your, your lineup, your cards. Golden Freeze is a really good tank, and then you have the Beerus for his Rage Mode, and then you Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Friend. Problem is now, none of them are healing. None of them are healing each other at all. Uh, they, they're hitting hard, they're, they're, you know, they have their, like, Golden Freeze at tanks, and Beerus can be good in that unit, or in that instance, but, you know, a lot, I mean, even if you bring all the best support items that you could possibly find, you're not healing yourself. And that's, that's a huge problem with sustainability. Um, and that goes to the same thing with the mono physical team about to go over. This is the worst rated. Um, you have the legendary Super Saiyan Broly leader. Remember, supreme damage. He attacks twice, though. Vegito Blue, which is actually decent. That's pretty good to have on team. And Super Saiyan God Tanks, or Go Tanks, the physical one that seals super attacks, which is cool. You also have the Bardock, which is good because Bardock will seal as well. Um, he just links better with Vegito Blue. Goku Black because of the key buff. Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Super Saiyan 2 Trunks from the future, and another legendary Super Saiyan Broly friend. Um, I would probably say... See, it's hard because essentially they're all Super Saiyans you want to keep as super, super Saiyan. But the full power Frieza is really good because he hits super hard. He just doesn't have any really good linking buddies. Um, you might be able to have him in there with Vegito Blue for the over and a flash link. So that might be coming a little bit more handy. But they're not getting attack buffs off of each other. Um, super Saiyan Bardock would be a good replacement for the Super Saiyan God Tanks. Um, outside of that... I mean, there are some others listed here. Raleigh, the Super Saiyan Bardock, the Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan 2 Saiyan Man. Uh, I'm just going over the ones that I personally think are good. But, you know, these are all of the optimal units that are available in the game at this point. I don't really... I don't recommend, you know, going after this event with any mono team. Unless you have exactly what you see here that I just went over. Mono Intelligence, Mono Strength, or Mono Agility would probably be the best bets. Um, I know I tried it with a mono agility and I essentially had, I, I have, well in terms of my JP account, that's what I did. I have Super Vegito, I have Rose, um, I have the Kaioken Goku, I don't have this, oh no, I do have the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and he was Dokened, Ultimate Gohan and the Whis and the Super Vegito friend and I was only able to get through the first actual stage. But then again, you know, that was my account that I didn't have any dupe system or anything like that. That's another thing I just did want to mention. If you made it this far, thank you, appreciate it. I know I'm getting on almost, you know, 17 18 minutes here now um you need to make sure that you have some dupe system put into these characters you know it's not gonna you're not gonna do well unless you have some dupe system put into these characters whatsoever they need dupe system in there you need those crits especially for the broly event you need those crits in order to take them out because you're not you can't just rely on debuffing and that's one thing i'm actually gonna go over i'm not gonna do it in this video because i didn't realize that i'm just gonna be rambling on this long uh but you need to make sure that you have some units that either, because you're not going to re rely on debuffing, you need to make sure you have those crits in. Uh, crits, double attacks, yeah, definitely, but definitely crits. And healing, actually, it's funny. Um, before we end this video, healing, I have my Gogeta again, I said 100%. He gets four freaking orbs, and he's healing for like almost like 1,500 per orb. It's insane. So if you guys have anyone, it, apparently, I didn't do a video on this. It's based off of defense. If the higher the defensive stat you have, plus the 120, um, well, the 70% leads, anything that comes into play, whatever your defense is, when you go and hit, hit those orbs, the more you heal. I didn't know about that. You know, I've been playing this game for two, almost two years now, and I just found out about that. So if you don't know about that, remember that. I'm, you know, I'm glad you stuck with this video so far. 
but you know that's it guys i'm going to be going over the list that i created um i'm actually uh, i'm just checking i just have another 15 people in here right now um, I posted this. I posted that list up on Amino. I posted it up on Facebook and on the Reddit, so that way I can help out as many people as I possibly can. But that's it, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to come watch my video. I know this is a very long-winded video. Do me a favor, hit that sub button if you're new here. Um, appreciate the support. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll catch you in another video later on tonight because I'll probably be releasing that video at about the same exact time that, or at least a half hour after I release this video. Thanks, guys. Hit that sub button and I'll catch you later.